Hello guys, so this is Sir EJ for another math tutorial. In today's lesson, we will be discussing how to use Venn diagram in probability. So yun guys, ano pang inaantay natin? Arat na! Wala! Wala akong pera! <laughs> so let's have an example. In a survey conducted by Babalu, Ano ka nasisira ulo? <laughs> he wants to know which of the three math teachers in Jayans is the most handsome for the students? Is the most handsome for the students? Is the most handsome for the students? <laughs> Note that not all the students in Jayans was asked in the survey and students can choose more than one teacher if they like. 75 students answered Sir Rosas is the most handsome of them all. 70 students answered Sir Ruben is the most handsome of them all. And 90 students answered that Sir Hernan is the most handsome of them all. Sir Hernan is the most handsome of them all. Hey. <laughs> Out of those said students, five of them answered Sir Hernan and Sir Rosas. Ten answered both Sir Ruben and Sir Rosas. Five answered Sir Hernan and Sir Ruben. While fifteen answered all of the three teachers. And five of the students decide not to answer. So in this problem, we'll be constructing a Venn diagram. <laughs> so this is an example of Venn diagram. So those three circles represent the teachers. So for circle A, we have Sir Hernan. For Sir Circle B, we have Sir Ruben, and then Circle C, we have Sir Rosas. So, ang unang step natin dito to identify the given is to start at the bottom of the problem. So, we have here five of the students decide not to answer. So, yung unahin natin is yung five students na hindi sumagot which is ilalagay natin siya outside those three circle kasi yung mga nasa loob ng circle na yan la, yan lang yung sumagot na students whether if Sir Ernan yung sagot nila or si Sir Ruben yung pinili nila or si Sir Rosa so since five students decide not to answer ilalagay natin siya outside the circle pero nasa loob siya ng rectangle natin and then after that 15 answered all of the three teachers are the most handsome. So, ito yung 15 na yun, isa hanapin natin yung intersection. This one yung intersection ng ating tatlong circle. So, dyan natin ilalagay yung 15. And then, for that, 5 answered this one, 5 answered Sir Ernan and Sir Ruben. So, Hanapin natin yung intersection ni Sir Ernan and Sir Ruben. So, eto yon Dito sila nag-intersect. So, dyan natin ilalagay yung 5. And then, 10 answered both Ruben and Sir Rosas. So, dito yung intersection ni Sir Ruben and si Sir Rosas. So, dyan natin ilalagay yung 10. And then, for that, 5 of them answered Sir Ernan and Sir Rosas. So, dito natin ilalagay yung five and then the next step is to fill up this value itong tatlong space na natira dito sa circles natin so unahin natin yung kay Sir Ruben sabi ang total number of students na sumagot na si Sir Ruben ang pinakagwapo 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 hindi totoo yan <laughs> ay 70 students. So, kung ito ay 5 na, i-add natin dito, 20 na, i-add natin dito, magiging 30, para maging 70, itong circle ni Sir Ruben, itong circle na ginagawa ko, sorry kung hindi pantay. So, para maging 70, 
kailangan pa niya ng 40. So, this one will be 40 students. So, naging 70 na siya. And then, next natin yung kay Sir Rosas. So, this one is 75. So, yung mga numbers ni Sir Ronel dito, inside the circle of Sir Ronel, the circle niya, so, 5 plus 15, 20, plus 10 is 30. 30, para maging 75, kailangan is 45. And then, kay Sir Hernan, sabi dito, is 90 students. So, meron na siyang, ito yung circle ni Sir Hernan. So, meron na siyang 5 plus 15, 20, plus 5 is 25. So, ima-minus na lang natin yon 90 minus 25. So, ang kailangan na lang ng circle na ito is 65. So, ganun tayo magpuno or maglagay ng given sa ating mga Venn diagram. Wow naman! Wow! Wow! So, let us apply this in probability. Let's say, first question, what is the probability of choosing Sir Ben? Hindakan lang yan eh. Ito yung probability na ang pipiliin ng mga sudyante si Sir Ben. So, para makuha natin yon, we will use the formula of the probability. So, probability of the event E is equal to the number of event outcomes all over the total number of outcomes in the sample space. So, unahin natin kunin yung sample space natin. So, yung sample space natin is the total of the students. Natin. So, yung total ng mga students natin dito is ia-add natin lahat. So, we have here 5, this one. So, 5 plus 65 plus 45 plus 40 plus 10 and then plus 5 plus 5 and plus 15 that makes it 190 students or respondents. So, ibig sabihin, yung sample space natin is 190. And then, after that, kukunin na natin yung number of event outcomes. So, yung number of event outcomes natin is ang pumili kay Sir Ruben. Kung sino yung mga pumili kay Sir Ruben? Probability of choosing Sir Ruben. So, sabihin, ito yung kukunin nating portion. This one. Probability of choosing Sir Ruben. So, ito yung circle ni Sir Ruben. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga numbers na nasa loob ng circle ni Sir Ruben, yung 5, yung 50, 15, sorry, yung 40, and yung 10, ia-add natin lahat. So, adding that, number of event outcomes is equal to 70. And then, isa-substitute na natin sa formula ng ating probability. So, magiging probability of event E is equal to 70 over 190. Lowest term is 7 over 19. If you want to get the decimal, that is 0 0.3684. And if you want to get the percent, multiply by 100%, so, ang probability na ang pinili ng mga sudyante ay si Sir Ruben is 36.84%. So, next naman tayo. Next question. Using the same problem. What is the probability of choosing Sir Rosas? So, syempre, ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin step. Using the same formula. And then, using the same sample space. Kasi parehas din naman yung mga given dito. So, ang sample space is 190 and then mababago lang sa number of event outcomes. So, ang titingnan natin dito is yung circle ni Sir Rosa. So, this circle. So, lahat ng number na nasa loob ng circle ni Sir Rosa ipag-add natin. So, 5 plus 15 plus 10 plus 45 is equal to 75. So, meron lahat yang 75 event outcomes. So, gagamitin na natin yung formula ng probability sa substitute natin. So, magiging 75 all over 190 and then ilolowest term natin which make it, makes it 15 over 38. 
and then divide, that is 0.3947, multiply by 100%, and that makes it 39.47%. So, 39.47%, yung naniniwala na si Sir Rosas yung pinakagwapo sa math department. Okay, next one. Using the same example pa rin tayo. Probability of choosing Sir Ernan as pinakagwapo. <laughs> Parang may naamoy ako hindi maganda. <laughs> so, gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula natin ng probabilities. Same pa rin yung sample space which is equal to 190 respondents or students. So, mababago lang yung ating event outcome. So, titingnan na natin yung circle ni Sir Ernan. So, ito yung circle ni Sir Ernan. This one, the circle. And then, kukunin natin yung mga numbers na nasa loob ng circle ni Sir Ernan. Ipag-a-add natin lahat yan. So, magiging 65 plus 5 plus 15 plus 5 is equal to 90. And then, after that, sa substitute natin sa formula ng probability. So, magiging 90 over 190. Lowest term is 9 over 19. Divide mo yung 9 sa 19. That makes it 4, 0.4736. And then, multiply by 100%. That makes it 47.36. So, ganyang kalaki yung naniniwala na guapo si Sir Ernan. O, oh, sige. Tawa pa ako yan. <laughs> So next, using the same example pa rin tayo, surveying the most handsome math teacher in Jayans. So this time, what is the probability of choosing only Sir Ruben? Yung si Sir Ruben lang yung pinili. Hindi pinili si Sir Ernan and si Sir Rosas. So using the same formula and using also the same sample space, this time mababago lang yung ating event outcomes. So, ang sabi dito, probability of choosing only Sir Ruben. So, meaning to say, ang kailangan lang natin is etong number na to. Yung nasa portion ng circle, which is 40. Ito lang yung pumili kay Sir Ruben. Si Sir Ruben lang yung pinili. So, that makes it 40. And then, substitute. Make it. 40 over 190. Lowest term is 4 over 19. And then when you divide it, that is 0 0.2105. And then multiply by 100%. So that is 21.05% probability. Wow naman! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Next, tayo. Okay, so this time naman is probability of choosing only Sir Rosas. Ayan, same formula, same sample space, 190. So yung event outcome natin, since sabi dyan is choosing only Sir Rosas, so ito lang yung ating sample space, 45. So use the formula, substitute, 45 over 190, and then you will know a term that, that will make it 9 over 38. And then 9 divided by 38 is 0 0.2368, multiplying it by 100%, so 23.68% yung probability na ang mga sudyante ang pinili lang ay si Sir Rosas lang. Hindi totoo yan. Okay, next problem naman tayo. Probability of choosing only Sir Ernan. So sino kaya yung pumili lang sa akin, no? Yung walang piniling iba, ako lang. May plus sa akin yan. Parang may naamoy ako hindi maganda. So, probability of event E is equal to the number of event outcomes over the total number of outcomes in the sample space. Ganun pa rin yung sample space natin. 190 pa rin. So, this time, ang pumili lang kay Sir Ernan is 65. Ito lang siya. No? 65. So, substitute. 65 over 190. Lowest term is 13 over 38. Divide mo. 0 0.3421 and then after that multiply by 100% so magiging 34.21% so 34.21% yung mga sudyante na si Sir Ernan lang yung pinili walang iba no loyal 
Yes. Sindakan lang yan eh. Okay, next problem. So, probability of choosing Sir Ruben and Sir Rosas. Pinili pareha si Sir Ruben and Sir Rosas. Using the same formula, using the same sample space. So, this time, yung event outcomes natin, since ang pipiliin dito is Sir Ruben and Sir Rosas. So, ito yung portion ni, ito si Sir Rosas, this one. And then, this one is Sir Ruben. So, ano yung probability na ang pipiliin ay si Sir Ruben and si Rosas? So, this one is 10, yung intersection ng dalawa, kasama to, kasi nag-intersect din si Sir Ruben. So, ibig sabihin, ia-add natin yung two numbers na yan. That's make, that makes it 10 plus 15 is equal to 25, substitute. So, formula ng probability natin, 25 over 190, so magiging 5 over 38. Divide natin is 0 0.1315, multiply by 100%. That makes it 13.15%. <laughs> Galing yan. Okay, next example. So, probability of choosing Sir Ruben and Sir Ernan. So, using the same formula and sample space is 190 pa rin. So, ang mababago lang is event outcomes. No? So, yung event outcomes natin, yung PPDN ay si Sir Ruben at si Sir Ernan. So, that is an intersection. So, ito yon 5. Pinili si Sir Ernan, Sir Ruben. And then, dito rin, pinili rin si Sir Ernan and si Sir Ruben. So, i-add natin yung dalawang yan. 5 plus 15 is 20. And then, we will substitute. Kaya magiging 20 over 190. The was term is 2 over 19. Then, divide mo yan. 2 divided by 19 is 0 0.1052. And then multiply by 100%. So yung probability na ang pinili ay si Sir Ruben at si Sir Ernan is 10.52%. Parang may naamoy ako hindi maganda. Okay, next problem. So probability of choosing Sir Rosas and Sir Ernan. Same formula, same sample space. But this time, different event outcomes. So, si Sir Ernan, hanapin lang natin yung intersection. Si Sir Ernan and Sir Ronel, so this one and this one. So, dito nag-intersect yung dalawang circle natin. Ayan. So, i-add natin. 5 plus 15 is 20. 20 over 190. So, 2 over 19 is the lowest term. Divide mo, ganun pa rin yung answer kanina, katulad lang. 0 0.1052 multiply by 100%. That is 10.52% of probability of choosing Sir Ernan and Sir Rosas. Sindakan lang yan eh. <laughs> Next example. Kaya pa? Kaya kaya pa. So, next probability of Choosing Sir Ruben, Sir Rosas, and Sir Ernan. So this time, tatlo yung pinili, no? Hindi lang two-timer. Mga three-timer pa yung mga gusto, no? Gusto lahat. <laughs> so, ganun pa rin yung formula natin. And then after that, same sample space. I-add lang natin lahat. 190. Pero different event outcomes. So hanapin natin yung intersection nung tatlong teacher na yan so ito yung intersection this one, 15 is the intersection dito sila nag-intersect so, 15 same formula substitute, 15 over 190 lowest term is 3 over 38 then 3 divided by 38 is 0 0.0789 then multiply by 100% that makes it 7.89% probability of choosing Sir Ruben, Sir Rosas, and Sir Ernan. So this time, what is the probability of choosing Sir Ruben or Sir Rosas but not both? So same formula, same sample space which is 190 but different event outcomes. So kung babasahin natin maigi yung problem, choosing Sir Ruben or Sir Rosas but not both. So ibig sabihin, Ang kukunin lang natin dito is yung pumili kay Sir Rosas at kay Sir Ruben pero hindi pinili si Sir Ruben at si Sir Rosas 
ng parehas. So, ibig sabihin ng mga kailangan lang natin dito mga numbers is this one, no? 45 plus 40. So, this one kailangan din natin kasi pinili si Sir Rosas dito. And then, this one kailangan din natin kasi pinili si Sir Ruben din dito. Pero hindi natin to kailangan. Yung 10 na to kasi pinili pareha si Sir Ruben and si Sir Rosas. And hindi rin natin to kailangan kasi pinili, pinili rin dito si Sir Ruben and Sir Rosas. So, adding those numbers, 40 plus 45 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 95. 95 over 190. Lowest term is 19 over 38. That makes it 0 0.5. Then multiply by 100%. The answer is 50%. Probability of choosing Sir Ruben or Sir Rosas but not both. Bola lang yan. Okay. So probability of choosing only one. So using the same formula tayo. Yung sample space natin is ganun pa rin, which is equal to 190. Pero may iba lang pagdating sa ating event outcome. So yung event outcomes natin dito, sabi probability of choosing only one. So ang mga kailangan lang natin dito is yung mga isa lang yung pinili. Yan yung mga loyal, no? isa lang. Yung sila mga two-timer, yung sila mga three-timer. Loyal sila, stick to one. Patumarin yung kundi ko na umitin ba? So that is... 65, 45, and 40. So, yun lang yung mga students na pumili ng isang choice lang. So, i-add natin na yan. That makes it 150. So, 150 over 119. That makes it 15 over 19. And then, 15 divided by 19 is equal to 0 0.7894. And then, multiply it by 100%. That makes it 78.94% yung mga loyal, no? Well, ka ba, loyal? Sama ka ba dyan sa 78.94%? Sasagot ka pa eh! Okay, next problem. Probability of not choosing Sir Ernan. So, yung mga hindi pumili sa akin, sino kaya yung mga... Babagsak ko yung mga sudyante na yung pag nalaman ko yan. So, gamitin natin yung same na formula. Number of event outcomes all over the total number of outcomes in the sample space. So, yung sample space natin, ganun pa rin. 190 pa rin. I-add lang natin. Number of event outcomes. So, yung event outcomes natin dito, bibilang natin yung mga hindi pumili sa akin. So, titingnan natin dito yung circle nat ni Sir Ernan. Yung circle ko. So, ito yung circle ko. So, ibig sabihin, yung, ito, yung mga, ito yung circle ko. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga pumili sa akin. Okay? 100 sa akin yan. Matas gray sa akin yan sa mat. So, ang mga hindi pumili sa akin, ito. 40 plus 10 plus 45. Kasama to. Yung walang pinili. So, syempre, kung wala itong pinili, hindi rin ako pinili. So, all in all, that makes it 100. So, 100 over 190. Lowest term is 10 over 19. The probability of the event E, so 0 0.5263, multiply by 100% equals to 52.63%. So, 52.63% yung hindi pumili sa akin. Parang may naamoy ako hindi maganda. Okay, next problem, probability of choosing at least two teachers. So, sabi dito yung term na at least two teachers, ibig sabihin, pwedeng mas madami sa dalawa, pwedeng maging tatlong teacher. So, using the same formula and the same sample space, ang kailangan na lang nating mahanap is yung number of event outcomes. So, yung ating at least two, so, ibig sabihin niyan yung mga at least two teachers yung napili, pwedeng ito, five this one 5, this one 10, at pwede rin yung tatlo yung napili. So, i-add natin yung mga yan. 5 plus 5 plus 15 plus 10 is equal to 35. So, 35 yung magiging event outcomes natin. We'll use the formula and substitute. Magiging 35 over 190. Lowest term is 7 over 38. 
and then probability of event E is equal to 0 0.1842 times 100%. The probability of choosing at least two teachers is 18.42%. Wow! Okay, so let's have our last question. Probability of not choosing from any teachers. Ito yung mga walang pinili. Nung hindi sila nagwapuhan doon sa tatlong teacher na yun. Using the, the same formula, using the same sample space. And then, ang kailangan na lang natin is yung event outcome. So, syempre, yung mga walang pinili doon is lima. Limang studyante yung mga walang pinili. Walang makitang gwapo sa tatlong teacher na yun. Kasi baka gulag sila. No? So, substitute natin sa ating formula. So, magiging 5 over 190. Lowest term is 1 over 38. 1 divided by 38 is 0 0.0263. Multiply it by 100%. That makes it 2.63%. So, 2.63% yung hindi nagwapuhan kay Sir Hernan, kay Sir Robin, and kay Sir Rosas, mga bulag. So, yeah.